afternoon, this is Salesman Sam with Churchill Equipment. We are sitting in a Fent 716 Gen 6 with the Fent 1 cab. I want to chat with you a little bit about hydraulics and how to adjust them. Um, and also a little bit on the, the 3L joystick. Uh, people have had some issues with how sensitive this joystick is and just wanted to talk to you a little bit about it and how to use it. Um, so, if you start the tractor, uh, the hydraulics are going to be locked, always going to be locked. The little button right here, we just tap that button and they come alive and you'll see the little lights even here. This this hydraulic is um, alive. If we shut it off, the lights are red. Now it's designated as, as the blue in there. So um, come onto the screen. Do we want to adjust uh, hydraulics? Just tap on the hydraulic screen. Um, you, you can if you can't adjust them, it means it's locked. I can't, I can't do anything with them. Can't adjust them unless it is unlocked with the uh, that first button. So once it's unlocked, uh, if I want to, this is loader here. This with the loader attached. Yellow and blue are designated for loader functions. Up and down and tilt. Um, I can speed up the the uh, uh, lift cylinder, and then I can slow down or speed up the drop cylinder. Just kind of got it in the middle there. Same with tilt. Um, and then something that, uh, just to be aware of your, your tilt cylinder, so like if you have a grapple bucket, your third function right here, uh, if, if you don't like how fast the grapple's opening or closing, uh, we can slow that way down. And we can, um, I don't have a grapple on the tractor to show you, but we can adjust the grapple so it slows way down or whatever hydraulic attachment you have on, on the front. Uh, something else to be aware of, our, our, our third uh, function on the loader can float. Sometimes it can be frustrating trying to unhook or hook up a um, attachment under pressure and there's really no way to uh, float it, especially if it's just a, a button, you know, open or close. Whereas with this, we have, um, we have proportion with the third function. And if I want to float it, all I have to do is just press forward on the, the uh, past the detent and it goes to float. Right there, you can see it. Um, if I pull it back, it's unfloated. So if I want to float, just push it past the detent, just like anything else. Uh, so this joystick is very sensitive. It's uh, very, very sensitive. And uh, a little input goes a long ways. So if I'm going to be lifting up the loader, um, it doesn't take a whole lot of motion, the loader's going up right now, to, to go up. Um, or to go down, it's just very little input. I'm, I'm moving it very, very little movements, goes a long ways. Um, some people are moving it too much because they think they have to put more input into it to make the loader do what it needs to do and they go to float. To go down, this happens all the time. It doesn't take a lot of effort to put it into float. And there it is, it's going down on its own. And people go, ah, oh, what's going on? Well, you, you pushed it too far. Uh, same is on the on up, you can, go past the detent too far and also the detent going to the left or to the right. So just a little bit of movement and if you don't like how slow it's going, just turn it up. You want it to move faster, not a problem. You can do that. Um, so that gives you just a quick overview of hydraulics uh, with a loader application. Um, if the loader is off, you can use this joystick for uh, different um, remote functions out the rear. So there you go. Thanks for watching.